This video is sponsored by videoblocks.com. Hey guys, what's up? This is Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to create some really cool 3D animation using 2D footages and 2D images. But before we start the tutorial, I would like to introduce you guys to Videoblocks. Videoblocks is for people like us. The motion designers, the VFX artists, the producers and the filmmakers. It is a subscription based service that offers its members access to over 10 million dollars worth of footages, motion backgrounds and after effects templates. And as you can expect everything is 100% royalty free. Their after effects template libraries consist of astonishing logo reveals, intros, titles, promos, typography and more. But the best part is that they offer 7 days free trial for its new members which is the best way to get introduced to video blogs and experience the service and get access to this amazing content for free. So guys make sure to check out video blogs after effects template libraries in the link below. Alright so first of all I'm gonna create a new composition and make sure the width is 1280 and height is 567 so that would get wide composition. Then I'm going to select my image and create a new composition for the image as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just rename the image or the image composition to let's say footage and drag that composition into our main comp. We need to scale this down so maybe I'll just scale this down to 67% should be good. And maybe I'll just drag this a little bit. Yep, that looks pretty good. Then I'm going to select and I'm just going to rename this comp again to 01 and now we need to create a mask so it can be any shape that you would like to go with but for now I'm going to go with a polygon so I'm going to just go into the center make sure the title action safe is on and hold alt ctrl shift and drag this from the center creating a mask onto the composition Then we'll select the layer, go to layers and layer styles and click on inner shadow. So this is going to give us a really nice inner shadow. We can tweak the settings a bit. So I'm going to set the opacity to 35%, the angle to 90 degrees, the distance to 10 and the size to 10 as well. Now you can tweak with the settings and just see around what fits for you. We'll close this up. Then I'm going to select the layer and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and drag this below the first comp. Then I'm going to hit M to bring down the mask properties, select the mask and hit Ctrl T to bring the transform properties of the mask and hold the Alt Ctrl Shift again and scale this up. Now make sure, now keep in mind we are scaling the mask not the image. So, so don't scale the image, just scale the mask like so. Looks pretty good. Then I'm going to do the same process again. I'm going to select, hit Ctrl D, duplicate it drag this below, hit M to bring down the mask, hit Ctrl T to bring down the transform properties and scale the mask. So we need to do the same process till the time we fill up our composition. Like so. And create a number of copies that you would like to go with. So I'm going to go with let's say 7 to 8 copies. And do the same process again and again. So in the last copy that is the 8 comp, I'm going to delete my mask. So we don't need the mask for the last copy. So you can just delete it like so. And then I'm going to turn on 3D. So I'm going to make all the compositions 3D layers. And create a new camera pretty quick. 35 millimeters should be good enough. Then I'm going to switch from active camera to left view and turn on my grids. Then what we need to do is we need to displace 
every single comp into the Z space. So I'm going to drag my first comp to right over there. Then select the second one and drag this somewhere around there. Basically, we need to create kind of a steps of comp into the 3D space, into the Z space, I mean. So I go there. You don't need to be precise. Like you don't need to be very precise. You can just go with this like so. And select the fifth one and do the same thing again. Maybe I'll just place this right over there. Just try to be as, as good as you can with this thing. Maybe I'll just drag this somewhere around there. And the eighth one. Somewhere, let's say right over there. Okay. Switch back again to the active camera. And now we should have something like this. You can hit Control Shift H to hide the layer controls like so, so that you know, just to be clean. And then you can see we get this kind of a cool parallax effect because the layers are arranged in the 3D space or the Z space. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just scale my last comp a bit maybe. Just a bit. So let's say 70 should work good. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we can animate our camera. You see it looks pretty nice. So now you can animate the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit P to bring down the position properties. Create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch and zoom in like so. Make sure you're on the beginning of the comp like there. Then I'm going to go to let's say two seconds and zoom out. Just around there. Then I'm going to hit R to bring down the rotation properties. And make the Z rotation to let's say 10 degrees. Create a keyframe. Go to 2 seconds and set this to 0. Then I'm going to select the camera. Hit U to see all the keyframes. Select them. Hit F9 to ease ease. Go to graph editor and create kind of a little motion. So that we get some really nice small animation. You can see the movement looks pretty good. But as you saw in the examples at the beginning, you can create some different camera angles as well. This is just to give you guys the idea of how to create this effect. So just to experiment with different camera angles as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a fill into my first layer. You can select any color. So I'm going to go with, let's say an orange color. Okay, that looks good and hit OK. Then I'm going to select the fill, hit Ctrl C, select the third layer and hit Ctrl V. Maybe I'll just bring down the opacity to 60. And then I'm going to go to let's say, let's say one second, create a keyframe, hit U to see the keyframe. And then I'm going to drag that keyframe to let's say one second and 10 frames, like so. And bring this down to zero so we have the transition or the opacity keyframing from 0% to 60% like so. Let's just select the keyframe and hit F9 to ease, ease them. Then I'm going to hit Ctrl C to copy the fill and Ctrl V to paste it on the fifth layer like so. And do the same thing again on the seventh layer or the seventh composition. So I'm going to go at the last keyframe, select the seventh comp and hit control V again. This is going to copy paste the fill effect. Now we should have something like this. Looks pretty nice. So if I render it pretty quick, you can see it looks pretty nice. So far so good. Yep, that is looking pretty nice. Then I must hit Ctrl A to select all and hit U to close them all. Then you can add a text pretty quick. So I'm going to just type in, let's say, let's just type in, let's play. You can type in whatever you want. It can be a title of your videos or your slideshows or images or whatever you can add it on it. So let's just tweak this a bit. Maybe I'll just place this into the center and just do a little bit tweaking like so. Yep, that is looking pretty good.
then I'm going to make it 3D. I'm going to make the text layer 3D and go to the left view again. Hit Control Shift H to see the layer controls and drag the text into Z space like so and switch back again to active camera. So now we should have something like this. That is looking pretty nice. Now let's just keyframe the opacity pretty quick. So I'm going to do the same. So it's going to appear like so. Makes it look a little bit better. Maybe I'll just drag the camera keyframes to let's say 2 seconds and 10 frames or 20 frames. Just to give a little bit more space for the animation. Like so. Yep, that is looking pretty nice. Yep, I'm happy with this. Now what we can do is we can go into our main comp that is a footage comp and drag a video which I downloaded from video blocks and just like that instantly you can drag any image or footage and have a really nice or different look. So you can see it looks good with videos as well. You see if I pretty quickly render it. You see that looks pretty nice so you can do this with photos and images you know and videos as well so this kind of technique of animation is really really helpful for creating some cool effects. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook if you want to stay updated with what's coming up next on my channel. So yep, that's it for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you guys and if it was, don't forget to subscribe, comment and like and I'll see you in my next video. Till then take care and thanks for watching guys.